So, Riley, how have you been up, lately? Mom? We took that week I'm off because we couldn't figure out what to talk about. And we're like, oh, fuck. You know, that's the great thing about this show is, like, we don't have anything to talk about. It's it's like South Park. Like, the guys, like, to, you know, like the dudes who made South Park, they, they had this uh, episode where they're like, I don't want to talk about. And one of them goes, dude, bail? And then everyone goes, bail. <laughs> and they just fucking bail. Like, well, we'll just reconvene next week. Yeah. But, yeah, I've just been hanging around, you know. I've been kind of in the in the sad hole lately, so I've had a hard time. The hole that is sad. Been for 12 hours? <laughs> yeah, exactly. Um, I've, been, I've been having a hard time motivating myself to do shit, like, podcast editing work that I'm supposed to do. I keep consistently putting shit out late because I can't just put myself in the mindset of, okay, now I'm going to sit in this chair for two hours and edit a podcast. Because I'm like, no, I'm too sad to do that. Let me just watch TV <laughs> and, like, try not to kill myself. <laughs> God damn. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Uh, uh, I was expecting you something a little bit lighter. I'm, I'm joking. I'm, jo- I'm, not, I'm not actually deep that... I'm not, not actually that deep, but... Okay, okay, okay. I'm just making sure because, you know, I I, yeah, I don't want you to, you know, blow your brains out one day. You're like, well, that's I don't want to do... happen. Don't worry. Oh, dude, that, that's how I'm I... Too, I'm too afraid of the uncertainty of death and what comes next to kill myself. True. There we go. That's a, that's a truer right there. Yeah, it, it's kinda, <laughs> it is kind of crazy. Like, you know, like I, I thought about suicide many times when I was much younger, and I'm like, dude... I don't believe in anything really. So, like, if I just off myself, then which it, is like, scarier? Yeah, well, it is fucking scarier. Cause it's I, scarier to not believe in anything after, because then it's like, if I kill myself, it's just gone. Like, is a shitty existence better than nothing? Yeah, it's really, Probably. It's really weird to imagine just not existing. Like, what is I mean, that you've like? Not existed like, before. You, yeah, yeah, I know, but it's like, what happens? Like, when you die, is that just it? Like. Like, the scary thing is that you're still kind of conscious and that it's just a black void forever. Mm-hmm. And you're just the scary part is that you're conscious yourself. right now. That's the weird part. Yeah, and then, and then one day... Oh, hey, what's up, Triforce? How you doing, dude? Hi, Triforce. You, you could go to heaven. I can't understand yeah. the thing you're saying, man. You're really, you really up here, buddy. Yeah, maybe, bro. You said, None of us you said, are going to heaven. Don't do that. Yeah. Oh, well, no, I mean, you, you kind of got into this oh, conversation. Oh, uh, you, you kind of got into this conversation, like, in the middle of it. Uh, like, uh, we, we were just talking about shit, and then it sort of snowballed into suicide. <laughs> like, we weren't exactly intending on talking about it. Jesse showed, Jesse showed a painless method. I got a image. Uh, I don't. I don't know if I really want to do a painless method of it, like you know, because I still, you know, die, and that still sucks, and I still freak just out drink, about. Just drink antifreeze, because the rumor is it tastes pretty good before you fucking melt and die. <laughs> oh well, that's really nice. That's that. That's exactly the motivation I need to kill myself is something that tastes good, you know, like yeah. well, you know, anthrax and so well, you know, drink. You know, cyanide tastes pretty good if you mix it with a little bit of Kool-Aid. The highest success rate is a shotgun to the head. Just keep that in mind. Well, yeah, obviously, because it's pretty hard to fuck up suicide by shotgun. Yeah, probably. Anyway, I've so... Seen it. so, so <laughs> what if you did it, like, next to a big building, and then you fell? Like, was the add on to the success factor? Was it, like, multiply? Oh, dude, yeah, that that's, that's some, like, fucking, uh... Oh, oh, what was the dungeon? There was this dungeon game where you set up traps and, like, you hurt people. You know, like, uh, you catch them in the trap and then you can, like, uh, uh, put something that propels them into the wall and the wall will have spikes. And then, boom, you just, like, get multipliers and multipliers. And it's it's really fucking cool. It's a lot You're of fun. Okay, I'm talking. I'm just talking about this game. I'm sorry, but yeah, you know, like you can blow your head off on top of a tall building, and the force will just like propel you off the building, and then you splatter. So and it, then there you go. Then you know Perfect. if you if you eat yeah, up, you get like a small multiplayer rack. Yeah, you can really fuck with the coroner. It's like, well, what killed him? The shotgun. Like poison. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, you know, if, if jumping off a building is a 40% success rate and then a shotgun to the head's a 92% success rate, that's a 132% success rate right there. That's how math works. So. Oh, yeah. yeah. Exactly. <laughs> Poison. <laughs> like before you do it. This is I like, like crazy. This is crazy. It's, uh, that reminds me of how uh, freaking uh, uh, Rasputin uh, died. He was considered like one of the hardest people in history to kill, right? And it took him. What the fuck are you doing? <laughs> I'm sick of the Bro, he went for like a tank. <laughs> All right, he you know what? Like, well, up his stats, that my help. Oh, okay. You know what? I'm going to consider this conversation. We're, we're going to move on. Ne next bit. Next bit. <laughs> no, 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 no. Talk about no, 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 no. It's, it's too late. It's too late. A one. <laughs> my dream. All right. My dream. This one time. Uh, oh, hold on. Hold on. Oh, 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 the whole format's broken now. Oh, hold on. Wait a sec. Wait a sec. Like, we, we haven't. I haven't even done the intro. Like, we're seven minutes into the cold in in introduction. <laughs> You did the cold opening. <laughs> give, give me a sec. All right. Let's do aside the podcast. Oh, yeah. This is. <laughs> hey, guys. Welcome to the Checkwear Podcast. What? All right. A one, a two, a skiddly diddly do. What's up, everybody? How you doing? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. And uh, today uh, we're talking about uh, dreams, you know, how, what kind of dreams have you had or like, what dreams do you have, you know, or what, you know, fuck, I fucked that up. God damn it. Did you do an intro? Cut, cut, cut. cut. Uh, uh, okay. you know all that time when you go to bed, sometimes like you tell stories to yourself. Yeah, that's what we're talking about. Hey, what's up, everybody? Welcome to the MoCast. I'm your host, Mo Diggity. Uh, and joining me today, uh, we took a week off because we couldn't figure out what the hell to talk about. But, you know, we know now. And uh, joining us today is uh, Robin. Say, what's up, Robin? How you doing? What's up, Robin? How you doing? And uh, Riley. Say, what's up, Riley? How you doing? I'm campaigning. This is my campaign. Bring back the skiddly diddly do. You didn't say it. No, we're going it to keep the no, no, we're going to keep the skiddly diddly do that I did. Per, you know that I did previously. I just fucked up the intro because you know I'm, th I'm I'm stumbling over my fucking stupid words and what I said was just sort of fucking silly billies. And uh, joining oh, us I today, see. and joining us today, a special guest, uh, Triforce the Punished. Say what's up, Triforce. I'm Triforce. Yay! Yay! All right. Dun, 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 dun. <laughs> do, 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 do. <laughs> all right, all right, all right. Uh, so today what we're talking about are dreams. What dreams we've had while you're sleeping, while you're waking up, and your lucid dreams, and all dream, 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 and all that shit. Or what dreams you... don't you, have a you dream know... when you wake up. <laughs> True. He's right. He caught you. And all the dreams and aspirations that you had that keep getting dashed like the perfect intro you know, for your podcast, you know, that sort of thing. But, you know, uh, is that your aspiration? Well, like, man, I really wish I could have a good intro. Well, see, like, once upon, well, once upon a time, I had a really good dream of being like, you know, all, you know, like a, having a good job and, you know, then making my own hours and getting paid. And then that got dashed fucking pretty hard. So. You know, now you I'm the dream for making like a really good podcast, and then you made Riley a co host. Oh, uh, yeah, wow. you know, <laughs> and that went downhill from there. So, you know, right now I'm just trying to like get those little things. Like, you know, I just I don't want to like fart myself to death, you know, after I eat some tacos or something, or you know, maybe it's a good way to go. Maybe I'm... I don't want to be depressed every time I drink a Coke or something, you know, and I. I don't drink it like a normal person. I fucking chuck it down because I'm thirsty and I like to taste the Coke. You know, I, I like just those little things, you know. But anyway. The little things. See, a lot of us, you know, like, l l let, me, let me go ahead and most explain something, you know. Dreams are nice. They're fun. They're, or sometimes they can be until they turn into nightmares. And, of course, you want the good dreams. You want the dreams where you're just a... Uh, 
laying in bed with your significant other or what you fantasize to be your significant other or maybe you get like a fucking unlimited money card you know because magic you know it's all these things that you know we, we sort of uh, we wish that could happen to us you know unfortunately they're just dreams and they don't really happen to us all the time though depending on your definition of dreams you might have achieved your dream or or your aspiration or your goals or whatever so i guess we're going to be talking about that we're going to go around the table and talk about our dreams uh you know hopes aspirations and dreams we've had so uh riley you're on the top of the freaking list uh, uh here let's uh let's start with you <laughs> Bum, 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 bum. Right. Fuck you, fuck. Bum, 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 bum. Yep. Every fucking uh, time. <laughs> just Dude, like, mute your see, phone. I forget to let's mute my phone. Let's go back to the beginning of the podcast. Let's... <laughs> yes, let's Take start three. again. One, well, two, skip the daily two. Well, no, no, we, we were doing really well. I was, I, I enjoyed that. <laughs> every time most, every time most phone goes off, we have to restart the entire podcast. No, don't, don't, don't worry, don't worry. I'll, I'll just edit it out. <laughs> It's it, it's it's soon enough into it, but yeah, you know, like I, I did I did the podcast with uh, Riley uh, the other day because we both do the uh, the TDS show, like the, the the dickheads podcast, and every fucking time I swear, uh, everyone hates you now, right? Well, I, I what's happening? Well, no, I I think my uh, I think I'm okay. Like I I did the official quote unquote apology to uh, Cameron Clark. You know, and I haven't heard a, a word about Pretty it good. since then. So I'm assuming I'm assuming that I did fairly well. That's and, maybe the best cold open in podcast history. It's just Mo set to bad recorder cover of the Titanic song mm -hmm. to apologize thing to Cameron Clark. It's very backhanded. Cover. It's very backhanded <laughs> too because then I start getting on a tangent about how much of a bitch is it. How much of a bitch do you have to be to like get a fucking uh, apology? But you know, like it's it's past. You know, we're we're done, um, and all that stuff. And every fucking time I record with Riley, not like my phone will just go off, and it just goes off with stupid shit. Like looking at my uh, my, my uh, oh God, what what the fuck is this right here? This uh, a little notification. Why is it not scrolling down? A uh, 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 scratch point, or LA-based comedian, or download Twitter manager. Like every time it downloads a, a fucking little update for something, it'll do the do 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 do, and then it totally interrupts my like train of thought because I'm looking at it. And I'm like, oh, uh, CEO of company thinks this is bad, and I'm like, I don't fucking care. Why did you have to notify I me? Life. I give a shit. No dignity. <laughs> I live my life on vibrate only. This is how I live my life, and if I, I don't have, I'll sleep with my phone in my hand, and if it vibrates, I wake up to the vibration. That's how that's how I've trained my body. Feel Sounds are annoying. Shit. No shit. I haven't mm -hmm. really gotten I haven't gotten that good yet, where I can just like have movement, uh, like a subtle movement, uh, 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 uh wake me up, because like I, I'm too. I'm too like sound oriented, you know. I, I gotta have that sound, that uh, that prompt that gets me up. I think the nieces and nephews just got here. Yeah, I hear I children. Usually, mm. I usually just sleep in until I wake up. See, I try not to do that because that's led to my depression and like other shit. Because like I'll straight up sleep to like twelve or one o'clock, and then I slept like half the fucking day away. And I'm, I've been doing really, really well where I'm waking up at like 8 or 9 o'clock and actually getting shit done. But well, I, can't... I do wake up at 1, but I stay up till like 3, so... See, I try um... not to do that either because I love the nighttime. Like, I'm the type of guy that needs to sleep with as little light as possible on, right? The second that I start to get a little bit of 5 o'clock morning light, my, my sleeping is almost over. And I almost have to, I almost have to fucking stop everything and like drape a fucking bit of cover or blanket or something over my eyes so I can actually freaking sleep. Because, you know, I, I just fucking can't stand light. But, you don't uh, have all your blinds closed? Bro, what do you, what do you, like, do you like seeing outside? No, it's just yeah, that that's how the, well, it's, it's not my house. So, you know, or I, if or it were my, 
Well, no, I, I have curtains. It's just that, you know, I, I don't really think about the curtains. And then, well, like, I sleep on a couch, right? I don't have my own room right now. Like, uh, gotcha. like I sleep on a couch, so I sleep in the living room. And so, like, you know, the, the lights will pour through the curtains and all that. And then there's the door uh, window. And the windows through the, the window will just pour fucking light like it's going out of style in, into the living room. And I just, it just can't be helped. But yeah, you know, uh, you know, it, it, it sometimes it's pretty cool. Sometimes I just end up get like it used to be. I used to work at night, and that was my sort of like alarm clock. It's like, uh oh, this is when I need to go to bed, because I'm starting to. <clears throat> uh, pardon me. Uh, I'm starting to see fucking light coming out the fucking windows. And I'm like, dude, I need to get some of this nighttime uh, sleeping in. Cause I hate I hated sleeping during the day, liked working at night, hated sleeping during the day. Cause there's something weird and unnatural about it. I can't put my finger on it. But anyway, so uh, Riley, uh, what's a dream? Yeah, what, what what's a dream that you've had? You know, while you were sleeping, uh, you know, like something that like uh, left you in a state of euphoria or a fucking nightmare you had where you almost like crapped yourself. You know, give us something. What you got? Now, you see, this dream, it's weird because I don't usually remember my dreams. But I had this dream at three years old, and I still remember it to this day. And All it's right. real Are weird. you not three anymore? What? Are you not three anymore? Okay, <laughs> got him. I didn't even do it this yeah. time. <laughs> yeah. I'm three years old, yep. So, so basically, the idea behind this, it's real weird. The, the dreams that I have are, like, half of my dreams are, like, really weird movie plots that go all over the place. And, like, this one, this one that I had at age three is, like, basically, it's, like, so it starts, <laughs> this is, it starts with jumping off a building, which is how all great dreams start. <laughs> Oh, I, I fucking hate those kind of dreams, man, because that shit always freaks me the fuck out. Anyway, continue. But that that part wasn't that big of a deal. You jump off the building, and then instead of splattering on the ground and dying, as you would in real life, you end up in a corridor with, like, a bunch of fucking doors. There's doors everywhere. And the goal is to go through those doors and get to the end... And the, but there's all there's the bad guy who's after you, and if he gets you, you lose. It's over. And the bad oh, guy because I was the bad guy because I was three is the big bad wolf. So the big bad wolf, <laughs> uh -huh. the big bad wolf is pursuing me and a bunch of other kids as you go through as we go through doors trying to make it to the end. And it's like. It's like this game, apparently, like that they play all the time. It's a very it's like, dumb dream. Scooby Doo doors, like where you run. <laughs> yeah, it's like Scooby Doo doors, exactly. <laughs> Is it with the music yeah, playing in the background and everything? <laughs> I don't know about all that. But, you know. <laughs> yeah, you're too. You're way. Well, you're way too young for that. But anyway, I just remember the dream ending with like it was kind of a nightmare in a way because the dream ended with me like almost getting eaten like i was in a fucking cage and i was about to get eaten by the big bad wolf and then the game ends because somebody else won somebody else goes back to the top of the building so like oh yeah we did it do you want to play another game and i'm like nope and that's how the dream ends it. see i i fucking hate those types of dreams when i when i have them because i played too many horror games and watch too many horror films so it's always something like disgusting and evil and malicious uh, coming after me whenever I uh, fucking see that shit, man. So, because, like, I almost always lose those types of dreams, those types of races in my head all the time. So, whenever I get caught, I get fucking slaughtered. And because... Are you not fast? Well, not in my dreams. Sometimes, like, you know, you, you can't control, like, the speed at which you're going. You try to, but, you know, the, the Dahaka you know, <laughs> like in your head, always fucking comes at you faster. I don't know why. The, the sense of the, the, the foreboding fucking sense of dread, you know, you, you, your sense of dread foreboding fucking bullshit fucking comes at you a lot quicker, I think, 
than like your joy or your happiness or your like sense of a uh, fight or flight. You know what I mean? So, and, and I always have that problem where the, the, my dream will go, well, that's fucked up. Let's try this again. And then I'm fucking back to square like four or five where I'm in the midst of the fucking chase. Instead of going right, I'll go left and I still fail. And I have to relive my death and my dream over and over and over until finally it just gets to the point where I'll just like pop fucking awake and I just get the fucking shit scared out of me and I just wake up in a sweat. It fucking sucks, man. I once had a dream where I just kept getting run over by a car just over and over again. <laughs> I've had what a couple. What car was it? <laughs> it was a I, it was a blue Jeep, which was my mother's car. It was my mother's car running me over, over and over again in this dream. Do you have mom issues? <laughs> I don't think so. Because <laughs> that sounds like some... Tell us about your family issues on the podcast, right? <laughs> yes, tell... how's, how's your mother doing? Yes, how is your mother doing? She's doing pretty good. What she's do you doing think... pretty good. She's on a vacation right now. She's having a good time. What do you think of your mother? <laughs> good. Now tell me about your father. <laughs> oh, I can tell you about my father. <laughs> Well, like, let, let, let's not, let's not, let's not. All right, do so. A parents episode. Oh, God, I would have to do that when I moved out. <laughs> <laughs> well, I'll have to do that, like, I'll have to do that one when I'm, like, completely, like, uh, uh, away from everybody, you know, because, like, that way I can talk and not well, worry about the What the, the hell si- are you talking about in there? I never fucking did that, you asshole. Shut the fuck up. And that's going to start an argument. And yeah. All right, so, Riley. Uh, that that was a yeah. fucking wicked fucking dream. Uh, what about like a a dream or a goal or an aspiration that you have? Do you have any of those? And if so, feel free to share them with us. My one my one goal in life is to not be homeless. That's all I want. I want to have. I want to live in a place where I can eat and sleep. I want to not be homeless. That's the goal. That's the driving force. See, like I can identify, I can identify with that uh, goal so much, man, because I've been homeless like three fucking times, and I, I couch surfed for years until I finally got me in an apartment. So I, I know exactly how you feel there. And also, like you know, the generic like I want to have a family dream, but like that one's never coming true. A woman would never even fucking touch me. Never long have a family with me. Oh, well, well, don't don't feel don't get your don't dash your hopes too much, man. There are a few women that touched me, and they like you know they they poked at my <laughs> at the, the the dongle a little bit. So you know, like don't worry about it. If someone will have sex with me, they'll have sex with you. They Trust poked me. it. Did they put uh, <laughs> Well, they, they didn't, like, point and laugh at it if you guys are thinking about that, you know. They still did stuff That's to what it. they do to me. Huh. So, anyway, we just have us uh, uh, joining us in the program is uh, Kim Jong... Uh, uh, Kim Jong... What are you fucking today? Kim, Kim Jong Skill. Let, let's yeah. go with Kim Jong all right, Ki- yeah, Kim Jong yes. Chill for Kim Jong Il. The real Kim Jong Il. Yes, the, the real, real Kim Jong Il. Dead North Korean former dictator. Let's just pretend. Let's just pretend that he doesn't sound Caucasian at all. You know, like he's obviously not it. dead. He's right here. What do you mean? Well, yeah, you, you got, it, you got. It. So, uh, Kim, well, what's he's not a... dead? Just his sister's in charge. Now. Oh yeah, my God, it was so weird. No, that's Kim Jong Un. Kim Jong Il was Kim Jong Un's dad. Are we not talking about Kim Jong Un? Not, Kim Jong Il. Kim Jong Il. Oh yeah. No, he's not dead. He's alive. He's chilling. <laughs> Kim Jong Chill. Kim Jong yep. Chillin'. Exactly. Yo. Anyway, God, that was stupid. I'm gonna edit that part out. Anyway. <laughs> no, you're not. I refuse. <laughs> anyway, anyway, anyway. So, Kim, uh, what's a dream that you've had? You know, like a nightmare or like a pleasant dream. Yada yada yada. Blah 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 wet dream well a, a lot of times like i have a dream where like i take a massive share uh-huh. and then after that i'm just able to like hold my breath in and then just start flying to wherever the fuck i want you know i just go to like what? museums or empty fields I, I think it really just represents like the freedom you get after you just empty your asshole but if you go to the bathroom in a dream don't you go to the bathroom in real life not most Ooh. of the time, no. 
but there but there was that one time. Oh yeah, there was, but we don't talk about that. Yeah, well, I, don't, I don't talk about how I like shit myself, like doing an Uber uh, uh, drive one time. That was oh, that was bad. Anyway, yeah, yeah, yeah. We we, we uh, uh, what the what the Were fuck you was driving it? or being driven? No, I was driving. It was it was pretty fucking bad. <laughs> like this now. This here's a fucking you nine five stars. I don't think he rated me at all, actually. Like, here's the thing. So, like, the, the night before, I got fucking wicked baked and I was hungry. So I went to fucking Taco Bell, got me some good Taco Bell, and fucking, you know, passed out. Uh, well, I didn't have to go to the bathroom. Like, I usually, like, usually I just make myself go, right? But I didn't go before I left. And so I'm like, oh, I'll go on the road somewhere. No big deal, no big deal. And so, like, an hour or two fucking passed, and nothing was good. I would forgotten all about it. So I went to go get myself, like, a extra strong coffee. Extra strong coffee. Uh, sh- Sean coffee. Goddamn. Extra strong Connery. Sean, an extra strong Connery. Yeah, that, that's 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 what I'm up to these days, getting extra Sean Connerys. Uh, you know, I, I need some Irish and Scottish men in my life, you know. Anyway, so... Oh, yeah. <laughs> uh, but I, I got me an extra strong coffee with an extra shot of espresso, right? And so I down that because I'm falling asleep waiting for fucking customers. I get a customer, but the guy is like 35 minutes out his destination. And I'm sitting there like halfway through it. The, it just everything hits my stomach all at once. And I'm like, oh, okay, I'll be okay, okay, okay. And I hit this extra bumpy road. And that's when the sweat starts fucking happening. And so fast forward, fast forward. I get him like about a minute to his destination. And I break down and I go ask the guy, dude, do you have a bathroom in that uh, in, in your house? Do you think I can use real quick? Oh, well, it's, uh, it's really a job. It's not my house. He goes, okay, buddy, okay. So I drop him off real quick. I pull out of the fucking driveway faster than I have ever had in my life. And I'm starting to speed down. It's getting to the point where like, or like your, 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 your muscles are just contracting and there's just not fuck all you can do about it. It's literally, this is coming now and there ain't nothing you can do about it. So I just fucking pull off to the side of the road and I unleash the fucking beast, right? Here's the thing while I'm doing it. As I did it, as I lit the, the you know the, the the party out, there's this fucking guy who drives past me, and all I hear is, and he almost fucking runs right off the road, because the dude is watching me just shit my guts out on the side of the fucking street, because I just couldn't help it, right? And uh, yeah, 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 that was like, dude, that, that that hurt, and I was so embarrassed that I cut off all the the eviction. Of the party, right? And I had to drive fast to this fucking store. And I, I must have shit my guts out for like 20 minutes after that. And then after that, I was like fucking humiliated. So I went straight home and took a shower and then like took a hot shower and like was really like, my God, I've never done that a day in my life. Luckily, though, you know, I didn't like shit my pants too badly and everything stayed in my the fabric. And I didn't like shit up the car. But I did add to air the bitch out for about a few hours. I didn't do Uber for the rest of the day after that day. But yeah, there's a fucking nightmare for you. Yeah, it's pretty bad. Oh, it's fucking terrible, man. Like, cause you know, you know, like you always think to yourself, like you're in perfect control of all your your muscles, you know, until you're not. Did you take like laxatives in the car? See, that's the thing. The, the laxative was the fucking coffee. And if I were yeah. a smart one, I would have drunk a coffee. I would have, like, went into the Starbucks that I got it from and just, you know, went in there like a gentleman. Instead, I go on the side of the street like some fucking savage. And, yeah, so that happened. Nah, I think Good they just times. didn't like you, so they, like, laced it with, uh... Actually, like, oh, that's Mo. He doesn't let me on the podcast. Fuck him, bro. Yeah, that's well, hey, well, hey, you know that, that that could be true. That could be true. So, so you know, enough about my my, my bullshit. 
Uh, Robin, what's a dream or a nightmare or something that you've had? I do not remember my dreams. I have, like, I need to, like, dream journal or something. Because it's real bad. I, I've had nightmares. Mm hmm And, like, the only reason, you, like, I really know I have nightmares is because you wake up, and, like, you're just having a panic attack immediately. But I don't remember, like, why. I fucking hate so, that I mean, I shit. I don't even know what a real, like, I can't tell if I've had a good dream. But I can it, tell if I've had a bad one, you know? Yeah, that, that's a lot. You, you know, your, uh, your uh, predicament there is a lot more prevalent than a lot of people uh, than, than you would actually think, right? Like, uh, I know a lot of people who can't remember fuck all about the dreams that they've had, but they've just had... Uh, fucking just straight up nightmares. Like I, I woke up with, with several like you know having a panic attack several times and me not being able to go back to sleep because every time you close your eyes it's just like yank 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 like the fucking knife is coming back down on you, and it's uh, it's yeah, fucking horrific. Oh my god! Oh, I've only woken up in like a cold sweat. Nothing too bad. I was able to go back to bed every time. See, I, I sleep paralysis. Oh, sleep paralysis is so fucking weird. Whenever I have I nightmares, had a while, thankfully. Whenever I have nightmares, my brain always tricks me. Like, if like clockwork, every time I have like a scary dream, like a nightmare, like something's coming after me. As part of the dream, I will wake up, and like in the dream, and I'll think I'm woken up in real life, and then you know the scary thing happens again. <laughs> Because I'm not woken up. Oh, yeah. It's like you go back, like, straight back into the fucking badness. You know, it's like, it's it's literally like just a fucking frame skip. Like in any fucking Nightmare on Elm Street or fucking horror movie. Uh, you know, it's like, bam, right back into it. And I can't tell you how many times I've fucking been torn apart by zombies. And then, like, woke up with my fucking heart pounding on my goddamn chest. And then I wait about ten minutes. I'll have, like, a puff or something. I'll go back to bed, and then boom, right back into getting fucking torn apart. I fucking hate that shit. Well, since you can't remember any of your dreams or anything, and I won't ask you necessarily to share any of your nightmares, because those nightmares suck. Uh, Even if I can remember them. like I, I, think, I think when I was younger, I had like... All, like, the only thing I can remember from any dream is when I was, uh, like, really young, and it was around, like, autumn. I, I had a dream that involved, a, like, a burning turkey in, in a forest. You put it out? No, 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 no. Just you let it burn. It's kind of shit. fucked up. Did you save the turkey? Did you save his life? Uh, the, uh, I'm, I'm worse than Donald Trump. Can't even save the was turkey. Was it Turkey Tom? <laughs> <laughs> it no, it was not YouTuber Turkey Tom. It was not. I don't think so. Hey, Turkey Tom drop, name drop. How about that? <laughs> but uh, I'm bringing in Turkey Tom on the podcast when we go to DM. I don't know the guy. I don't even really know what the dude does. Really, I know he shit posts a lot on Twitter, but I, I, I've never. He makes. He makes funnies on YouTube. He makes yeah, songs he makes the funny about YouTube other video. YouTubers. Man, I'm going to be really sad to see all the shit posting and shit talking go from YouTube. It's like pretty much the only reason why YouTube should even exist anymore is so you can just like fucking shred people to pieces and then have those same people shred you to pieces so we can go tit for tat. But Funny. every but ever since fucking what's her name, the fucking anime bitch that just wouldn't stop fucking ripping off anime and like, you know, uh, uh, what what's her fucking name? Carly something or fucking something. Yeah, she she kind of that whole fucking arc kind of fucked everything up. And so yeah, that that's commentary channels are probably going to go to the wayside and drama channels are probably going to get nuked from orbit. After all, this is the You think Keem Star is going to get nuked? I don't know. Nah, he nah, will never get up. He nah, cannot destroy him. He's he should kinda, have been nuked to begin with. He's kind of too big. He, he was nuked. He's and a fucking he survived. Nothing happened to him. 
Well, I mean, he you can't officially God, own God a channel speed, anymore. Godspeed, team. Godspeed. Let's uh, get right into the news. Team just lost some money from, like, G Fuel. I think that's the only thing that, like, actually happened to him, right? Uh, so far, yeah. I don't think yeah. he any subscribers. Guys, guys. We'll Guys, what if Keemstar? What if Keemstar killed himself on stream? And the last thing that he said was, "Let's get right into the news." All right, Riley. Oh, God damn sense. it! Shut the fuck up. <laughs> All right, you, you're fucking fired. Okay, you're fucking fired. What if what he kills himself on jokes? stream? Hey, and then you gotta, you gotta kill I heard him. Okay, okay. Wait, 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 wait. What a time? Up in your podcast. Okay, uh, yeah, yeah, we'll, we'll talk later. Anyway, so, uh, uh you're, Hoji, fired, you know? you're fucking fired, Bob. 15 million Deutschmarks. Is what if he kills himself <laughs> on stream and then cites this podcast is the reason? Dude, I would be kind of honored, quite frankly. Like, you know, like, I, I, like as long as it's not, like, crazy. It'd be a good day. Like, like I, I don't want to, I, I don't want to end up like PewDiePie and get my shit mentioned during a mass shooting. But, you know, like, if someone went, this is your fucking fault, Mo Diggity, uh, Twitch.tv Mo Diggity, fuck you. Psh! Like, holy fuck, man. That that would be like a, a fucking, that would definitely be a pin in, like, the bookmarks. Uh, you know, the, the, the uh, I, that would be something I'd put in the book of my life. You know, definitely a fucking notation. Why cause the guy to kill suicide, Mo Diggity? Like, what, a, pe- what a piece of shit, Mo Diggity. Let's listen to his podcast about dreams. You can hear this is where he's a real psychopath. Talks about shitting himself on the side of the street. That's my biggest dream is the day Kim Star is just gone forever. <laughs> Mo Diggity. Hashtag Mo Diggity is over, party. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. I'll be wait. I'm, I'm, I'm waiting to get canceled one day. So, uh, Kim. So, uh, yeah. uh, wait. Uh, Kim, do we get do we get you on, on a dream? You said, like, uh, you want to... Who yeah, something about die? taking a huge shit. Something about taking a huge shit. Okay, we got you. So try for us, and we'll do me last since you know you guys are the guests. So try for us. One time, one time I had a dream where I was like in a bowling alley, you know, like those, you know, um, the prizes, like you can get points in mm-hmm. some of them. Mm-hmm. Uh, there's like a real life penguin there. Like there's an actual penguin, and oh, I. Uh, shit. Uh, I didn't hanging? win it. Yeah, no, I tried to win it, but I couldn't. Yeah, no, it was just like an actual penguin, just like on the shelf. Like, oh, wow, okay. I crazy. thought you were. I thought you said hanging, like someone yeah. got hung. I'm like, okay, yeah, we're talking about fucking nightmares no, 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 too no. damn much. Yeah, penguin. When someone gets hung, it, it's they're hang. Yeah, no, that was a cool dream. That was like the coolest dream I've ever had. That was sick. So what? So what you're saying is, like, even in your dreams, you fail. Yeah, yeah, no, I wasn't able to get the thing, but like, uh, I think it got something. I don't remember. You don't remember? Sounds like a really bad nightmare. Man, that. th- th- that's something that I fucking hate is like failing in my dreams. Like, dude, like I- I've had dreams where I've talked to chicks I like, and they fucking eviscerate me, and I wake up like super bummed out and super sad. I'm like, dude, nothing ever happened. She's fine. Like, don't think about it. But I'm that still fucking sad. IRL. That happens to me all the time. That happens to me all the dream. time too. But oh, you remember the I dream? Remember the dream. All right, I what's the dream? the dream? All right. Um, I think so. This is when I was in like first grade or something, very young, and um, I had a dream where like one of my classmates uh like became like superhuman. Like a villain, basically. Mm-hmm. So this was a nightmare, by the way. Um, and I don't remember what they were doing, but I remember at some point in the uh, like in the dream, I realized it was a dream. Like I realized like I'm having a nightmare, but but like I'm, I'm still asleep. And uh, I managed to like what I was doing in the dream was like closing my eyes really hard and then pulling them open. And every time I did that, I could feel, like, tension on the eyes until eventually I ripped my real-life eyes open. Oh, Jesus, man. That's fucking like I broke, crazy. I broke out of it. Ooh. And then I was awake. Dude, that's fucking horrific as hell, man. Like, I, I remember, like, feeling, 
like claw marks and shit across my chest in a fucking dream. Like, but like, you know, never the eyes, never the eyes. It's only ever been the body. Yeah, I was like trying to wrench my real life eyes open by like wrenching my dream eyes open. I don't know what the, I don't know what the fuck like you guys are doing, but my, all my dreams are boring. Well, like we just, I guess we just have intense dreams. I don't know what to tell you. It's just like that's how it's always been for me. Like my dreams are just like me walking to my friend's house and hanging out with them, like I would do in real life. It's just boring real life things, but I'm dreaming it. Well, do you ever see like a bunch of floating eyeballs like cross the street from you or anything or? Or anything no. crazy like that? No. It's just me hanging out with my friend and then I wake up and I was like, oh, that didn't happen. And then I, I go do something else. Man, I think maybe I've just done too many drugs in my life thing because I get that all the <laughs> That's time. What I was going to say. It's like, I don't know what, I don't remember what I took, but damn, man, maybe I can narrow it down and not take that anymore. <laughs> oh. the floating eyeballs thing. That sounds like a Benadryl trip. Like. <laughs> Yeah, that sounds fucking crazy. I never remember my dreams when I have to take, like, uh, medicine to go to bed. Never remember any of those. Oh, one, time I, one time I took, like, 24 Benadryl, and I kept seeing, like, spiders on the wall and shit. That's, did you fall asleep? Or were, I did not. Were you well, still I mean, eventually up? I fell asleep. Was it a good but nap? I was up for, it would, no, it was not a good nap. You keep, so what happens is, like, you keep having conversations... Like, you know, I'll, I'll think I'm talking to someone, but then, like, the moment you focus on the person you're talking to, they're gone. Like, they're not, they were never really there. I don't think that's Benadryl. I think you have, like, schizophrenia. No, it's just with Benadryl. <laughs> that, that does sound a little bit like it's chemically induced. I wouldn't think it's schizophrenia. No. Because I, I've had, like, you know, conversation with people, and I was, like, fucking fast asleep. Like people, like I've had arguments with people. Like they told, like they asked me, "Hey Mo, you mind getting up in a few minutes, running to the uh, the place where to to pay the electric bill?" I'm like, "Yeah, all right, I'll do it. I'll do it in a sec." And then I woke up at like eleven o'clock. I was like, "Mo, the electric's gonna be late. You fucking said you're gonna do it." I don't even remember me asking. And then we were like getting into a full on fucking shouting match, and I go and I pay the bill. And I, like I apologize up and down. I was like, dude, I am sorry. I just don't remember, man. <laughs> so that that, was like that a superpower happens. I realized as a kid. A superpower. If I went to think? my mom, yeah. If I went to my mom and she was sleeping, and I woke her up and I asked her for something, she would just say, yeah, 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 whatever, do it. So I'd be like, hey, can I buy this game or whatever on Xbox? It's like, yeah, fucking whatever, do it, do whatever the fuck you want. Mm -hmm. And then I buy mm -hmm. it, and then she'd come to me and she'd be like, why is there a thirty dollars charge on my Xbox? I go, like, well, I asked you. <laughs> Do yeah. You play Xbox? I don't. I do not anymore. But when I was a young, a young pup, I played on the Xbox 360. Well, there's nothing wrong with that. It's my favorite Xbox so far. Yeah, just a PlayStation now. But I think the one's my favorite, just because I can play Red Dead One at a playable frame rate. Nice, nice, nice. I think I could do it on PS4 as well. PlayStation Now? Does it have yeah. it on there? It does have it on there, yeah. I'm loving the new oh, yeah. PS Now, actually, because you can, you, there's downloadable games now. So you don't just have to do the shitty stream thing. Like, if you if you have bad internet, you can just download it. Fine. And then if you download it, you can also stream PS Now games. Nice, nice, nice. So what are you guys thinking about the new PS5 reveal? It looks uh, it looks better than the Xbox, I guess. At least it's not an internet router. Oh, yeah. <laughs> See, I remember compatibility. when the PS3 launched and it was like 500 bucks and everyone made fun of it. Yeah, they, they made fun of it, but uh, then when the PS4 fucking came out, it was essentially the same thing. Uh, everyone rushed uh, uh, past the Xboxes to go get the PlayStations. Well, that's because the PlayStation was 400 The Xbox was like 500 in comparison to the weaker consoles. I still got PlayStation 3. Well, my parents did. I didn't get it. I never, I never owned an Xbox. My sister had one for a short period of time, and then they like uh, traded it 
or something. I like the Xbox 360 a lot. I think it's my favorite console. The Xbox One's okay, but I like the 360 better. They got controller design down with the 360 for sure. Yeah, definitely. I think the control. I think the control. The control design's a lot better than on the PlayStation. But I love the shit out of the PlayStation controller. Though I like a, a, but my hands feel a lot better when it comes to. Uh, you know, gripping the 360 or Xbox controller. Like, it feels good all Forest around. Like, control. I can. What? Go. Right. I was going to say the worst controller is uh, Switch. Uh, I never played Switch. <clears throat> I mean, I have a Pro controller right here. I mean, it's it's literally just like the. The Pro controller is good, but like the normal Switch is bad. Wait, the Joy Cons? Yeah, because they drift. I can't even use yeah. my Joy Cons anymore. I just replaced the sticks on mine. I just chucked them and got a pro controller and keep it docked all the time. <laughs> yeah, as soon as we get Trump Bucks round two electric boogaloo, uh, um, I'm getting me a Switch. It's going to be great. Well, save the rest, but, you know, definitely getting a Switch. Are we getting Trump Bucks again? Uh, yeah, we're supposed to get, like, we're supposed to get Trump Bucks, uh, either at the end of this month or the beginning of next month. That for a little bit, it sounded like we weren't going to get any. But then we were like, well, we really can't just, like, prick tease them with the one time what, 1,200. And we already said that we'd give them, like, you know, at least two or three. So, like, consider this the second one. So we're, we're going to be getting a – we might even be getting 1,500 instead of 1,200, too. Yeah. But if we I, do get that, if we do get that, I'm definitely getting. A I'm switch. finally running towards the end of my stimulus, so that'll work out. Who do you perfectly. think will win for president? Oh, uh, personally, I I think Trump. Even even with like the, with everything going on, and with uh, the really piss poor uh, uh, response from even Biden's fucking camp, because Biden like poor look, kid. He he'll he'll do a he'll do a like a, a bend the knee or a, not bend the knee, a take a knee pick, and then like Pelosi will too, but they don't ever say anything about like their response has been really piss poor to the situation and since there's so much anger uh, toward uh, the the protesters and stuff right right now, I I think everything is sort of a uh, ripe to be ripped apart and then put together how they see fit and then the democrats took too long to just all they had to do all the democrats had to do was say we are in favor of police reform that's yeah. it that's all they had to oh, do oh yeah and it took too long and now trump's coming in and he's like yeah we're gonna do police reform yeah he did and an exec got on that shit first oh god oh he oh. did an executive order for it and this yeah. is like one of those fucking things where like all across the board, it seems like right and left and center and also all the extremes are 100 percent on board for cop reform. And uh, he did. I think he did an executive That's order. The, thing, yesterday. Though, is the Democratic and Republican parties, neither of them are on board for it. It's just the Republican Party was like, here's our chance to do what the, the supporter base for the Democrats want. But the Democrats themselves don't. And yeah, it'll just make them look like fucking idiots, and that's exactly what it's making them look like. You know, look, there, there's that's a me as a cop. Sorry, what? That's me as a cop. Mo cast band. That that's you as a cop in this little picture right here. Yeah, <laughs> All right, I think I have my thumbnail. <laughs> anyway, so uh, yeah, you know, there's a fucking dream and aspiration I have—a competent fucking uh, political party. <laughs> Uh, anyway, we'll go ahead and start wrapping this up. Let me go ahead and tell a dream I've had. Are you going to uh, start rapping? No, yo, wrapping yo, it yo, up. Let's hear it, <laughs> Anyone got a beat? <laughs> no, there, there's, there's not going to be any of that. But uh, here's a dream I had once upon a time. And this is before, like, the drugs and drink and, like, like it was just hard life and hard being a teenager. You know, uh, I fucking had a dream where I was going down, uh, going down the fucking uh, Fraggle hole, you know, like in Fraggle Rock. And then it was, uh, I went down the hell and then on the other side, it was uh, hell. But it was uh, the David Letterman show, but everyone were fucking demons, right? 
you know, like Letterman was a demon. The fucking house band were like made of demons. The the fucking studio audience were all demons and shit. And so uh, I, I had a dream where I watched a fucking David Letterman show comprised entirely of like demonic forces. So that that's what I got. And on the dock, it was uh, 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 like Bill Pullman, uh, fucking rich, uh, uh, the, the weight loss guru guy, the one with the fucking fro. What's his name? I think it's Richard something. Uh, but anyway, if anyone can remember, just chime in whenever you want. But uh, yeah, like him and, and all that. And there was a segment called Stupid Stupid People Tricks. And uh, it, it was like a demon just like beating the shit out of a fucking human, trying to get him to pass through a fucking flaming loop. A, a, a Richard flaming Simmons. Hoop. Richard Simmons, thank you. There we go. Uh, yeah, so like Richard Simmons was introducing the stupid, uh, the stupid people tricks, right? And so he's just beating the shit out of some fucking guy. He jumps through the hoop, but his clothes catch on fire. And of course, he bursts into flames. And the studio audience laughs at their ass off because they're in hell. And uh, the next thing I know, you know, there's uh, they, they they're all talking like, well, you know, I'm really happy to be here. Death to everyone. Yeah. And like it, it fucking freaked me the fuck out because I wasn't in, intending. I, I never had an intense dream like that before when I was a kid. So uh, the end of the season, the end of the show was uh, uh, Demon Letterman going, fuck you all. Good night. And pulling a lever and then everyone descending into a fucking a pit of fucking flames. And so that, that was the end of that dream. And it really freaked me the hell out because I, I couldn't make heads or tails of it. Mm-hmm. But yeah. So uh, let's go around the room real quick. What's a, a, a dream or an aspiration uh, that you have that you want to see fulfilled? Triforce will go with you first. Uh. I want a dog as like um, a lawyer or something like that to help you. You want a what? I want to. I want to get a job or something like uh, a lawyer or something like that to help people. Oh, you want to be a lawyer or something like that so you can help people? Yes. It help sounds like. People. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. It sounds like you could be like a pro bono lawyer or something like that. At least I think. Uh, Robin, what's what's uh, what's a dream or an aspiration you have? I mean, I'd like to. I mean, short term, I just want to get into school, maybe like some online classes or something. Get into marketing, and then like long term goals for the United States of America, the greatest country on earth, uh, is to actually be the greatest country on earth. No shit. That'd be nice. It is already. <laughs> I mean, the, like it is, but the bar is like really low. Well, yeah, yeah exactly. The the bar is really low. I would lo- like. I think that's a dream of mine. You know, I'll go ahead and put say my dream. I like the the bar to be raised a lot higher, and for us to aspire to like try and reach for the bar. You that know, rhymed the part of it. <laughs> that wasn't intentional. <laughs> All right, all right. Uh, 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 Riley, what's a dream, what's an aspiration that you have that you want to see come true? To become healthier so I don't die at 23. <laughs> Damn. Uh, okay, all right, all right, all right. We, 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 can go, we can go with that. That's that's good, health and weight loss. That's that's a that's an aspiration and dream for many people. Uh uh, uh, fucking Kim, what's a dream or an aspiration you have? Uh, earlier, I think it was like Riley that mentioned he didn't want to be homeless, and I'm just gonna go one step above that. Say I never want to work a service job ever. I'd rather fucking die before I do that. Dude, I fucking feel ya on fucking that. Service fucking jobs really suck hard, man. It, it's so, it, it's so absolutely difficult. To get any kind of career going in the service industry, man, like, cause you, you try your best to like, you know, make something of yourself at one of these little service industry gigs, but really at the end of the day, man, it, it's like the whole industry, it feels like it's designed specifically to make sure that you don't and that you have to, 
and, and, and the uh, the spots where you can actually make a career out of it are so few and far in between. Like, it's not just enough to suck up or kiss the asses of the bosses. It's all the bosses are sucking up to one another and kissing the asses of someone slightly higher above them. And so, like, the, the, the game is just so fucking awful. And it's, it, it's, it's not worth playing. I mean, it's not even that, like, I'd ever try to make a career out of it. It's just that, you know, I was, like, that was my only option at, like, 16, for example, is to just do, like, fast food. I'm done with school now, have an engineering degree. Hopefully I'll never have to do that shit. Fucking A. What do you hope so to do? So let's with say that you were, you know, a minimum wage employee at a gas station, and you are in an awkward position where you're the only one who knows how to operate that gas station. Like, even your bosses have forgot at this point because they haven't been putting any time into it. What, what, like, what, you, what steps should, should that hypothetical individual take? I well, think in a position like that, you could definitely negotiate for a higher pay, at least. Yeah, I think yeah. personally that uh, uh, in that hypothetical for that person, I think they definitely have more of an advantage that some like John or Jane Q employee at a Taco Bell or a McDonald's would definitely have since there's like so few people working there and there's like even fewer fucking uh, uh, competent employees running the place. I, I would think yeah, that all that of the person other minimum wage cashiers quit in this hypothetical. Yeah, I, I would think that that person the the person has a, a definite advantage in that one. Like I guess we should say that not all service industry jobs are created equal and not all outcomes are necessarily going to come out equally. So I guess you just gotta take what you can get. And like if there's a hole you can fucking shoot for it, shoot for it. But like generally speaking, like it, it almost feels fucking hopeless in those situations, you know? Yeah. Almost. So oh, he's uh, so whack pilled, man. Why am I so whack? Oh, uh, that's just how it is, man. Like you know, I'm I'm for I'm forty, dude. I've been well, around the bend. I, I've I've been around the bend, and unfortunately, like, you know, it's 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 not all you know shit sandwiches and, and fucking drowning in a sea of shit all the time. It's sometimes you see the sky, sometimes you you see like the, you see the opening through the forest and all that, and you just shoot for the gap and you hope you make it. It's just that it's not like that all the time, man. Like, life it just feels so unnecessarily hard, for like no for like seemingly no reason too, you know, because I like I'm I'm sitting there like on on one side, I, I'm working like a fucking like like, like I don't fucking matter. You know, working my ass off, and it almost feels like I, I'm not getting anything. And on, on on one side, the 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 managerial side, the the higher up side, the corporate side, I'm being told I'm a useless piece of shit and easily replaceable. And on the other side are people that I work with, or people who are trying to get my job, uh, and and they're telling me how much of a piece of shit I am, and how privileged I am, and and how uh, how terrible I am, and it's like, it's like the motivation to stay happy, you know, like when boats, when, when your own are bombarding you and your bosses are, are bombarding you with all the negativity, it's kind of like, fuck man, why even bother anymore? And it fucking hurts, man. I, I hate to fucking act like that. And I hate to feel like my dreams are being dashed constantly. And I hate to think that maybe I live in a world where you can't afford to have dreams anymore, but... I still try to have them. I do my best, at least. Well, anyway, I think that's about it for us today. This has been a great show. Uh, uh, Kim, we'll go ahead and start with you. Uh, can, uh, where can our people find you at? Do you have anything you stream? Do you stream anywhere? Do you have a Twitter account you want to hawk? Yada, yada, yada. Well, I don't use Twitter, Facebook, or any of that shit, because those places are pretty bad, but... You know, I'm I'm gonna do a Christmas stream at some point at twitch.tv slash Kim Jong whatever I do on Twitch. <laughs> cool. I I love putting that link in the description. Yeah, twitch.tv slash Kim Jong whatever I do. <laughs> uh, uh Riley, where can they find you at, bro? On Twitter at RileyTweets. On 
Twitch at twitch.tv slash Riley Streams. You can find Pixels Polygons of Fun wherever podcasts are found soon or already, but depending on when Mo released this, we'll be having our 100th episode. No, no shit, man. Congrats on that, dude. Hell yeah. Congratulations. Thank you. There's a Pokemon Variety Hour on Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcasts. The Riley Podcast Mega Feed, also in those Stitcher, Spotify, Apple Podcast places. And the new thing, my daily upload Let's Play channel, Big Guy, Little Guy, where me and my buddy Andrew play games and stuff. You can find that on YouTube, but the search is stupid and you can't find it through the search. So I guess you really can't find it on YouTube. You're just going to have to get a link somewhere. Uh, I guess we'll all have to put in a link in the description then. That'd be pretty good. That'd work. All right. Anything else? No, that's, that's everything. All right. Robin, where can they find you at? You can find me on Twitter at Inside Alloy. I'm sometimes active there. You can find me on Twitch, twitch.tv slash Inside Alloy. I'm less active there, but, but active sometimes. Yeah, I really Those enjoy your streams. Hour. I liked your uh, dark. I, I liked your Dark Soul streams a lot. They're always really fun to watch. They will be coming back. I have plans to do a race with a couple of my buddies to see who can beat Dark Souls the fastest. I finally figured out what the fuck the problem was with my Knights of the Old Republic weren't runs, and uh, it was a resolution problem on Slobs uh, Slobs OBS, uh, uh, Streamlabs OBS, and uh, with uh, uh, the with my monitor so i i think those are actually coming back because i got so pissed off like i've been looking forward to this this entire time and you've been wanting me to play that game a lot so those yes, are all coming watch back the fuck out of it. um triforce do you have anything you want to hawk bro i i have a twitter at man username triforce ethic sweetie squad fake uh verified and also i've I can barely understand what you're saying, bro. Say what YouTube called Triforce of Epic and Triforce Man is my at on Twitter. Alright, awesome, awesome. All the links will be in the description uh for that. And finally, you can catch me at twitch.tv slash mo diggity. Haven't streamed in a couple of weeks, but I'm going to. I just haven't really had the motivation to do so, but I'm going to. Uh, Twitch.tv slash Mo Diggity. You can find me at Mo Diggity 42 on Instagram and on YouTube. Uh, you can check out the Patreon for the show at uh, patreon.com forward slash Mo Side Productions. Uh, and uh, at, uh, at SlowRider4201 on Twitter because Happy Good Boy got nuked from Orbit because I was sharing. So your, friend, your friend made a new account. Yeah, my friend made a new account. Because Happy Good Boy 420 uh, got nuked from Orbit because all he was doing was sharing riot f and protest footage, did nothing wrong, didn't tell anyone to fuck themselves, and they 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 got back to him. They 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 got back to me and uh, back to him and said he was ban evading. I'm like, what the fuck, man? I'm like, I, uh, it just, Twitter's just fucking aggravating. I I kind of hate it. But, you yep, know, so uh, Mo's most friend, Doe Miggity, made yes. a Twitter. I need to make a Doe Miggity. That's what I need to make. Of course, don't forget to go to FadeGrips.store. Yes, FadeGrips.store. <laughs> FadeGrips.store. Also, please go. Um, if you guys need food for the coming, like, apocalypse that's going to happen, please go to the Jim Baker store. You can buy, like, really quality buckets of food there. Shit, man. All if of them are 100 Dollar price, bro. Really? Honestly, the food you need's KFC. <laughs> Dude, straight up, man. If the fucking apocalypse happening happens, I'm going straight to my fucking local Walmart, and I'm grabbing all of those fucking freeze dried food that's good for six months. Uh, or the uh, that's that's a uh, uh, the, the you have a supply for six, a six month supply for. I'm grabbing as many of those as Jim I fucking Baker's, can. You don't want Jim Baker's black bean burger bucket. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Wanna... Sure, sure, sure. We'll go we'll go to jimbean.com or Jim Bean or Jim Dangle, whatever yeah, the hell it's cool. called. <laughs> All right, man. Uh thanks for coming out, everyone. I'll see you around in Ta Ta. Bye.
Bye.